When I got diagnosed, I was scared, I was angry, and I was like, I am telling everybody this story. I'm opening my life up to you so you can learn what I didn't know, what I needed to know about breast cancer. 30 years ago this month, former NBC10 reporter Luann Khan, a legend in the news business, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She became a leading voice in the fight against it with her groundbreaking NBC10 series, Breast Cancer, My Personal Story. In November, two days after my 35th birthday, I was told I had a cancerous lump in my right breast. We were breaking the rules, too. The story's not supposed to be about us. Right? That's a, one of the first rules of journalism we teach, right? The story's not about you. But I was so angry. Angry because she felt a lump and got a mammogram, but it did not detect the cancer, and the tumor grew for six months until Luann felt compelled to see a surgeon and ultimately got a biopsy. We hardly knew anything about breast cancer back then. Mammography definitely wasn't as good as it is today. I mean, so many things have changed. We cure many, many, most of the women with early stage breast cancer. Will we ever cure everybody with breast cancer? Not until we can diagnose everybody at an earlier stage. For the last three decades, Dr. John Glick of Penn Medicine's Abramson Cancer Center has been Luann's oncologist overseeing her chemotherapy after a mastectomy. A pioneer specializing in breast cancer, he appeared in the NBC10 broadcast. You need chemotherapy and it'll reduce your risk of recurrence substantially, but it's not a guarantee. He was willing to let the cameras come in and nobody else was. She proposed this examination on television for many reasons. To increase breast cancer self-awareness. To decrease fear of a physician examining one's breasts. Performing a self-exam is also an important message all these years later. I will talk until the end of my days about this. If it helps anyone, go see a doctor, pursue something that doesn't feel right, get a mammogram, see their doctor at least once a year. I'm worried about what's happened during the pandemic. Both worry specifically about women of color, who Dr. Glick tells me tend to have more aggressive breast cancer because they're diagnosed late. If you had a message for women of color, what would you say? Get your mammograms. Get your annual physical examination. Don't delay your care because you're important. As for the future, Dr. Glick is hopeful. Mm -hmm. I believe in the next five or 10 years, we will have blood tests that will detect circulating tumor cells well before a lump is felt. As for Luann, life is good. I told incredible stories after breast cancer. I traveled around the world and I went to the Middle East and I went covered Olympics and I interviewed presidents and, and I, I did amazing, amazing investigative stories. But you know what? That story. I'm still most proud of that story. A story that still has an impact 30 years later. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News. Mm, and what a service she did with that story then and now and yeah, the good it's doing. Once again tonight, Yes. likely saving lives Absolutely. by building that awareness. And Dr. John Glick just retired, but before he did, he saw Luann for one last yearly checkup and told her with 30 years cancer-free, she is truly cured. And we're thrilled about that. We are. We're so glad she's doing well. It was great to see her again. Oh, yeah.